I, a frightened eight-year-old girl, lost in this new world, where the ancient names of my ancestry had no meaning in this country. Phyllis, my master said, your name is Phyllis. After the ship that brought you here, and Wheatley, my dear, that is after me and Susanna. Could I, a young child, dare to say that's not my name? That I came from the lineages as old as the sun, and I did not want this name of Boston? I could not say a word. I simply stood and stared what my ears had heard and my heart burst in tears. The thought resounded in my head, named after a slave ship, a slave ship, the vessel that robbed me of my life and my family. That's not my name. I came from people with names as sacred as the sun. And I did not want this name of Boston. Phyllis Wheatley, not Penda Wan or Aminata Kulibali, not Asta Jalo or Fatumandiati. I wanted to scream and shout, but my tongue lay dead in my mouth. Yet, this man and wife seemed to want to preserve my life. So I closed my eyes and nodded my head, thought of my father, and then said, yes, my name is Phyllis Wheatley. Wow. And now this moment,